Hey everybody, welcome, welcome to our live. I am Heather and we come to you live each and every day, Monday through Thursday, 10.30 a.m. Central Time. And we talk Luminous. We talk about the starter kit, what you receive, how to use it, how to start practicing, all the goodness of um, all of that. I did check. Um, I just want to double check. I want to check, double check. Double check. Okay. All right. Y'all can hear me. All right. So I always like, I did check, but I'm going to double check the, um, the sound to make sure I'm hearable. <laughs> All right. So today, good morning, Pam. Today I labeled this one cleaning day because, um, we had a couple people and then Jeannie asked for us to, um, do one on cleaning and like how long to use. Hey, Jackie, um, Jacque how long you can use mascara or how do you clean this? Or another question we get a lot is my bottles are not, um, not a lot, but like the bottle is not letting drops come out anymore. And so I just thought we would cover all of that while doing makeup. Um, and so I am going to do just a natural look. Good morning, Stephanie. How are you? Um, kind of my go-to everyday look, uh, which I did half yesterday. Um, and then we'll, um, we'll go from there. So if you have any questions, if you're like, Hey, what about this? Or what about that? This is the time to ask. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. Um, I think today I'll use, I think I'm going to use the peach color corrector along with my shade three in rose. And um, let's see, what else can I use today? I'll use the Cut One palette as well. And let's see. What shall we do? Hmm, maybe that one, but let's see if we can't use this one too. I always liked the um the nude and naughty palette because that is an amazing palette. Um, because it has like 36 eyeshadows. Uh so it's a great go-to. But we always like to cover, hey Jeannie, um, we always like to cover the basics, the beginnings of airbrush. And so this is one of our starter kits. We also, we have several. So some of you may have received this one. This is the Icon. We also have the Icon Pro and the Legend. And then of course, the Breeze, which um, a lot of you have. It's our cordless chargeable airbrush system. But it all comes with this product. It comes with the two bottles of foundation, Love and Blush. Now, some of you may have received other products, but this is, what our basic kit comes with and it comes with two bottles of similar color foundation they're not the same but they're very similar in color and then it comes with blush um and our blush is super high pigmented it does bloom you're only going to want to use two drops and then uh, love is something you may you know you may not use it every single day but maybe every you know every once in a while. I use it more in the summer than I do um, the winter because I even mix it in with a drop of my foundation. Um, I also like to use it um, like in my blush sometimes or I'll just use it like the high cheekbone area and down my nose. Now when starting out, these are the things that we want you to do right here. So when starting out, you're going to make sure that you're holding this four finger width away from your face. The what you'll do is you'll end up going like this because something's blowing at your face or you come in closer because you're touching your face. So make sure you're keeping it four finger widths away and move that stylus around. It, you don't have to be in a hurry. It's not a free for all, blah, 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 blah. but you're going to move this around and lightly, lightly pull back on that trigger. Of course, air, how you put airbrush makeup is different, but how it goes on your skin is also different. So don't get it home and then put it on like traditional makeup because then it, it's no working. All right. I'm going to go in with the peach color corrector first. And I'm going to hit those, um, those areas that I need my pre-coverage, where I need to get that coverage started. So 
turn on my system and we're going to talk about cleaning your stylus cleaning your breeze afterwards as well oh no Jeannie, that's horrible now notice i am applying this super light guys super light you can touch it and there's nothing on it so make sure when doing this that you are spraying super light now you can practice with water um and just airbrush water on your face water does weigh heavier than the makeup but what will happen is it'll get you used to pulling down lightly on that trigger um your your face will be wet but you just don't want it running down your face okay so i'm gonna go on my lids a little bit under my eyes again because the more passes i make the more coverage i'm getting okay and there we go i'm gonna blow i didn't need as many drops as i put in there all right so now let's talk about the peach color corrector is not something i use every day um or maybe it's the luminizers or maybe whatever it might be when you go to put a drop in it may not come out um and you can squeeze the bottle and everything and it's just not coming out you're like okay what just happened what you can do is the little tip and this is the big this bottle the big bottles or the small bottles what you can do is when you you can wiggle this off so i'm going to just i'm going to take this tissue wiggle it off and it comes off just like that okay see then you can get a tupperware bowl or whatever um glass bowl whatever you like fill it with warm water not boiling water let me repeat this not boiling water just hot water from the tap and soak these okay what sometimes happen especially if you don't use um one of the products every single day there's makeup that can build up in here okay if that happens soaking it in the hot water will help loosen that and then you'll be set so as soon as you clean it you can put it back on and listen for that pop and it's fixed um another suggestion and i was talking to Jeannie about this is let's say you ran out of a product save save the bottle save the the tip of that because i can put that one on this one so if one is just giving you a hard time all the time maybe switch that out um, and you can save those okay so that's one tip about cleaning i'm now going to use i haven't used these in a while these are our um obsession shimmers are they obsession Expo um exposure highlighter i just feel everything's obsession I'm going to put this on before now yes this is traditional makeup it's traditional so i can still put that on before i airbrush so i'm going to go in put my dots right there now even though i only have my um the the peach color corrector i'm still just going to tap that into place why because i don't want to pull on my face just tap 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 till all those little dots are gone do, 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 do. and then i can even do a little bit down my nose this one is the rose gold one we also have um a bronze one that are like um yeah bronzer one that's really beautiful now that we can start getting oh and i did use the tanning tonic today too because i'm like hey the weather's getting better put some down here so i can start getting my tan on all right now does it look too shiny right now uh-huh it does but that's okay why because i still haven't i haven't done my foundation yet so i can still go back or i will be going back and doing that um and putting that on um 
yeah, it does make, it makes your skin look like glowing. So if you like that glowing skin, it is a little bit different than the highlighters than our luminizers. And it, it's kind of a step up from, um, from love. Love is very, um, it gives your skin luminosity, but it's very subtle. Um, and so it, it, stepping process, it would be love exposure highlighters and then the luminizer. So if you're looking for more of a shine, you're like, Heather, I like to get my shine on then, but try them both. I like this cause it does give you that kind of a, a creamy look. Um, and so sometimes that's a good, good look to have as well. If you want to change it up. Um, Oh, Jacques, Gay, that's awesome. Yeah. Side note, make sure y'all have like LifeLock or whatever. Um, I know there's others out there. You need them. It makes a huge, it doesn't cost that much, but it just saves you so much. All right. So now I'm going to add a little bit of my soft rose blush. I'm going to put two drops only two drops if you put more than two you're gonna look crazy 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 all right so i have it in here i'm gonna spray my paper towel just to make sure that that rose blush is coming out i smirk applying it to my cheeks i kind of bring it up a little bit more And there we go. And that's all you want to do. It will, with the blush, you kind of want to get it to almost where you love it. Like, oh, almost. I'm almost loving it because it will bloom. It will bloom and it comes out a little bit more. But see how it just lays like right on top of that uh, exposure highlighter. It doesn't cover it, but it just makes it a little bit softer. And so if you thought, Heather, that's too shiny. Just know that it is going to start blurring. All right, shake. Whoop. I just lost my shade three. Hold on, let me see if I have another one. It just fell down. Hold on, let me see. I might have to get it. No. No. Yep. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Let's see if we can do this and this. I'm going to mix a two and a four together because <laughs> I just dropped my three. So I'm shaking up my bottles, which these I haven't used in, in a while. So I'm shaking them up. Now I'll shake them up a little bit more since I haven't used these in a, in a minute. So I'm going to do three drops of my shade four, maybe two of my two. Now I put all my drops in here. I'm turning this on and now I'm going to pull back and bubble that together. And that's going to mix my shades together. So you don't have to, you know, you can mix them together if you, if you need to mix two colors together. Now, Starting in one spot, I'm going to start making my passes, keeping it four finger widths away. I'm not in a hurry. And keep going. Keep it going, keep it going, keep it going. Now, look how it's all starting to come together. It's all starting to blend. It's all starting to make, make sense, right? The shimmer is kind of softening a little bit. Make another little pass. If it's too much, if I need to dial it back. Hey, Zondra, good to see you. And I think that's really all I'm going to do because I like it like that. 
Yes. Yes, Jackie. That's awesome. Okay. So as far as cleaning, we talked about how to clean um, the tip of, of, a, um, of a bottle. Um, I do want to talk, if you need to, if you feel like as a makeup artist, oh, you're so sweet. Thank you. As a makeup artist, if I was using this, like I have one, I have this in my kit, but I'm doing several people. One thing that I do is I do keep a spray bottle. I just got a little glass bottle of alcohol that's a spray. And I do spray uh, my palettes, uh, you know, when I'm going between clients um, to make sure that they are clean and, and I'm not transferring things to one to another. So if needed, you can do that. If you're the only one using this, you don't have to worry about that. But sometimes that is how um, I will clean those. Now, I'm now going to do a little bit of contouring with my cut one. And I'm taking my brush. I'm dusting it through all of the contour shades. And lightly right underneath that blush. I'll do a little bit up here in my temple area. Morning, morning, Martin. Definitely down here. Because remember, what, what is foundation doing? It's evening out your skin tone. So it's making you what we call flat. I feel like I have a flash right here. Or fuzz ball. It's probably a dog hair. My golden doodle needs a haircut. Um, and I find that his hair gets stuck in my eyes. <laughs> so just, just a little bit about me. Um, so I do a little bit of contouring. We already gave my fa face some shape because of the fact we did um, the blush, we did the highlighter, we did that kind of thing. So, um, you know, I'm already getting the shape back. Um, I just like to do a little bit more contouring to kind of blend that in. Normally, if I didn't use the exposure highlighters, I'll do my, the shimmer last. But with airbrush it does make it easier to do that shimmer first because you don't have to worry you know i can just tap it out now i just said that but i'm also saying that you can use the exposure highlighter after you just want to what once you put it on if you've airbrushed your foundation on and you use the exposure highlighter what do you do what's my favorite word i'll wait tap it out tap it out yes yeah, stephanie you're going to just tap it out that won't break up the airbrush okay so if you're like oh i forgot that about that exposure highlighter i want to use that you can use it first i just find that sometimes it's just a little easier to put it on before airbrushing the foundation because I really don't have to worry about it. I can just put it on. Boop, boop, boop. Okay, done. So that is up. That's up to you whenever you do it, but you can do it before and you can do it after. Now, when doing, uh, I just did my contouring a little bit. Brushes. Let's talk about cleaning brushes. I know we hate cleaning brushes do as i say not as i do i understand that and um and we talk about the joys of airbrushing because we don't have to worry about dirty brushes right well a couple of ways to clean them um there are different brush cleaners that you can use that you can spray on boop, 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 wipe out and then you're done okay uh you can do that and let's just talk real. Okay. Let's just talk real. Are we going to do that every single time we use our makeup? Probably not. Right. I mean, if we're being real, probably not. So what I end up doing is I do like a spray brush cleaner, one that dries pretty quickly for, you know, maybe every other day I'll clean those brushes. I don't know about you. Do you find that sometimes your brushes work better when they're dirty? <laughs> like your hair? <laughs> But 
once a week or once every other week, I do wash them. There's a difference between cleaning them like this with the spray and washing them. Okay. So I usually will get like um, a baby shampoo because it's pure. Uh, you can get them at Walmart, Target, like cheap. And I do a baby shampoo with them. And what that means is I just put a little bit of my hand and then under the water, I do this. Whichever one I'm cleaning, I do like that. Even if you're doing, a, I have slippy hands today. If I'm doing it this one, then I'll do it this way. If I'm doing a flat eyeshadow brush, I'll do it this way. But notice what I'm doing. <laughs> notice I am holding them like this, okay? You want to hold your brushes while you're cleaning them like that. Because we're getting them wet. If it's a spray, if it's you're just doing a spray clean, you can um, you can get a paper towel, hold it like this, and do it this way. Okay. But if you're wetting them and washing them, you want to hold these with the bristles down because you do not want water in here. This is what's holding those bristles together. So we don't want to break that up. So always hold them this way until they're clean. You can just take them out and take two fingers piece and do it this way. Wring them out after you, you can put them in the water, rinse them out when they run clean, uh, squeeze out the excess water, lay them flat. And I lay them flat on a, on my counter, on a paper towel, lay them flat and they will dry overnight. Okay. Just let them dry overnight. But again, do not hold them up like this. I even put them in the sink and I can swirl it around to make sure that it's all, uh, that they're all, um, you know, that they're clean, that, and yes, your bristles are going to be wet, but they will dry overnight. All right. So let's do a little bit of, ah, let's do a little bit of owls. Oh, let's see. I'm like, I don't know what to do. You know what? I have it on this, um, on this one, the optics. I have not used the white, the halo and afterglow. So what do you think we're going to do? For your liquid mirage? It comes with a, uh, yeah, it has there. There's one. This is halo, halo, halo. I'm just put it as my brow highlighter for now because I want to see how bright. Hey, Wanda, how are you? My niece uses Halo in our um, in our click and plays. I wonder if it's the same color. Do you think it is? I bet it is. Yeah, it is. So I guess I have used this one. This is the one that I mixed in with another color to tone it down just a little. And then I'm going to use the afterglow, which is the matte white. And I'm going to do that on the inside. Now, a lot of times you'll see me and I'm just, I'm letting you know my, um, my thought process. The link for the Rose Foundation didn't work for me. Um, hold on. Please hold. <laughs> I won't, I won't do hold music though. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, I'm going to put it up here for you, girl. You ask, I provide. The link for the Rose Foundation. Copy. Where am I? Where am I? Where am I? Is right there. There you go. Rose Foundation. There you go, Rachel. I'm going to get to that. I'm going to get to that, Jeannie. All right. Now, notice that. So I put the I put the matte white in here because 
remember that shimmer acts like airport runway lights. And so I'm very cautious about my um, wrinkles and crinkles. And normally you'll see me do the crease first, my crease color first, and then I go in and do my eyes. However, my thought process is this is white. Like the halo and afterglow is white. I don't want it to look as white. So that's why I'm doing that first. Because now when I go in and do my crease, it's going to blend that white. Make sense? Your airbrush foundation. Oh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> uh, Mary said, your airbrush uh, foundation looks perfect. I'm trying to copy and get the same look, but it's still hit or miss for me. Oh, thank you, Mary. Hey, Mary, hit the link. Look in the description. In the link, you can uh, book a... Um, a, a small group class with me and um uh, we do a monday and wednesdays at noon and i promise if you do i'll give you extra tips on here but if you keep watching and i love that you said it's hit or miss that means that you're you're continuing to do it and that's the key i have been doing this 20 plus years i and we have done this I've actually put my makeup on with no mirror on one of the lives a long time ago. I put my entire face on with, I think I even did lashes with no mirror, no mirror, no screen, nothing. Okay. So I've been doing this a minute. You will get better each and every time you do it. Each and every time you have this in your hand, you'll understand it. One thing I do recommend to all my classes is apply it to somebody else. Because when you're doing it yourself, you actually shouldn't see it go on. You're spraying so lightly. And so there's actually two things. I recommend doing airbrushing a paper towel, put about five drops and airbrush a paper towel and see how gradual you can get that uh, foundation to go on. And it also shows you how smooth it goes on. If you see splotches and it's too, you're either pulling back too hard, you're too close, that kind of thing. So if you can airbrush somebody else and have fun with it, it helps. Okay. When I first started, my uh, one of my good girlfriends, her uh, boyfriend, let me airbrush him. Okay. He was he was a trooper, and I did everything to mess up. I filled in his eyebrows. Um, and he's, um, he's Lebanese. And so it's like, it was, he has those thick, thick eyebrows. I filled in his lips. I, I did everything I could wrong because I wanted to see, okay, what will happen? And then we took that off. And then I started doing it the correct way. Okay. Am I the four finger whisk away from his face? Do I keep moving? Am I lightly pulling back on that trigger? So every time you practice Mary, you're going to get it. Okay. It's going to get better and it's going to get better and you'll, you'll love it. Even me, there are days that I mess up and what happens when you have splotches or anything, you just choo -choo -choo, tap it out, tap it out, but spray light. All right. Now I'm going to go in with a blending brush. I don't know. I feel like doing something different. You know what? I'm going to do this green. Um, it's blackout. It's this green. And I might put a little bit of that yellow in there for Ukraine. They're green. Are they blue and green? I mean, blue and they're blue. Aren't they blue? Hold on. Let's look it up. They're blue and yellow, right? Yeah, they're blue and yellow. So let's do a blue. Here's a blue. So I'm going to do iris. Thank you, Stephanie. I'm going to do the iris, which is um, this one right here. And let's keep them in our prayers, shall we? Um, so I'm going in with this blue. I already have the white on. So now I have, and this is how I did it. Boop, 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 boop. You, with the blending brush that goes like this, you want the makeup at the top. And then that first spot that you put the, um, the makeup on is going to, to be where majority of the makeup, where most of the makeup is going to go. So we'll go here. 
I'm just going to go back and forth, back and forth. I'm not bringing it up too much because I just want to see. I want to maybe try something different. And just see where we go from here. Now, in this one, there, see that blue down there? I'm going to mix those together because does anybody, can anybody figure out why I'm mixing those together? The iris and that blue at the bottom. No, I just filled up a bunch. Can anybody figure that out? I'll give you a second. Anybody? Anybody? I'm going to take this, blend, blend, blend. Tone down the shimmer. Exactly. Because what did I just say? Shimmer acts as airport runway lights, right? It's going to draw attention. Most of the time in our crease, we want matte. Okay? Because that's creating the depth. I love this blue, but it's shimmer. And so I want to keep most of that color. And now I'm taking my, just a tissue, dusting that off. And now see, I mean, I have it on good. Let me put a little bit more here. I have it on. I mean, it's on good, right? You can see the deep color. So now I'm going to go in and blend there's a lot of shimmer there's a lot of stuff going on right now so i'm gonna blend okay i think i am going to go back with a, a muted color in my um on the inside go over that white because this is a lot. This is reminding me of the 80s. Um, and and guys, this is how it works. Like you can always make changes. Okay. So I'm going to go in with more of a flesh color brown here. And it is matte. To, yeah, see how much that made a difference. <laughs> Thank you, Jeannie. Yeah, I mean, guys, you can always like reapply or blend out. Now, remember, it is easier to add than it is to take away. So start light and go from there. So like if you were using blue for the first time, maybe not go as dark as I did at first. And so just go in and now I'm just all I'm doing now is blending and I can still go back. If that shimmer's throwing me off, which I think it is, I can still go back and do that. And then go in and blend that a little bit more. Okay, digging that a little bit more. All right, now to stick with your Ukraine colors, we're gonna use the flash that's in um, the optics, which is this goldy yellow. And then all I'm gonna do is tap it right here. And just tap. Oh, that's looking cool. Oh, yeah, Jackie, you can. You can for sure. There are different ways to tone stuff down to um, a shimmer for sure. Um, if, if we're talking eyes, a shimmer, yes. But that's why I love this um, nude and naughty palette here. Because see how many matte ones are? You can see one that I use a lot. You can just go over it, and that's what I did with that matte color to tone that down. Or if you have a concealer brush or um, like an artificial hairbrush like this, you can go in and kind of boop, boop, you know, kind of swipe that away, and that will help as well. You took if you were like, okay, that's just too much. I can't do that. No way, Jose. Um, you can also airbrush over it if you need to tone it down. 
Um, all right, so now I'll go in with that blue, with the iris. Let me get up, where's my up close personal mirror? And I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna line with the blue. And normally, like, I would not have really cared about the shimmer as much. And I'll show you, there's a lot of ways you can do it. Um, except for the fact that I have a lot of shimmer going on already. See how it, the, the, you have that shimmer there because I use that exposure highlighter. Um, or, um, I think I can do this one. Um, and so I just feel like it's too much shimmer. But also remember, I still have mascara to put on, which is going to dial it back as well. So if I wanted to take that, I could dial that back. I'm going to do one side just so you can see the difference. And then I could also take that. And then I'll go back with blending because that's gonna give you that hard edge. And I just blended that up. Does that make sense? So there, I could go in with a powder. Or just dial, dial it back. I think the other thing is a lot of time, or like, you know how styles change and everything. I don't do a lot of brow color. Um, because I end up just going with, since I airbrush my lids, um, I end up going with the color that's already there. Did I do both eyes? Okay. <laughs> I was like, I couldn't remember I lined both eyes. Um, so I end up going with that natural color anyway. And so that's what I end up doing. Um, if you need to clean, somebody just opened my door and they're dancing. Uh, if you need to clean these, like clean, if you're like, well, actually, I did have to clean this one because I mixed this one the other time. You can take a tissue and just swipe them. Just swipe them. And that will clean those for you. Okay. So now we're going to move to mascara. Mascara. You, one, never let somebody use your mascara. Um, you should never borrow mascara. Um, that's too close to your eye. And so if somebody has an eye infection, pink eye or whatever, oh, awesome way to transfer it. Okay. So don't let people borrow your mascara um, or anything around your eyes. They can borrow your eyeshadow palettes because we already talked about how to clean those. That's fine. Um, your brushes, you're going to clean those. That's fine. Um, when I'm doing makeup, I never pull makeup, pull the mascara out of here with this brush. I use a mascara wand or a spoolie and that goes to that eye. I never use it on each person. Now my own personal mascara, of course, slap that bad belt, that bad boy on, but you want to change. Let me back up. What starts to contaminate or to dry out of mascara or anything foundation um, is air, right? Air gets in the it, bacteria can grow all of that. And so you don't want to pump it because that's pumping that air in. So just take it out and then you can apply it. But you want to change, you want to change mascara about every three months. Every three months. That's going to be pretty with the mascara on. Yeah, and nobody wants, nobody wants an eye infection. That just hurts. In fact, talking about it might make my eye water. I know I love that, right? But see, guys, look at what a difference mascara makes. Let me just put it on one eye. So you can see it. I was going to put an eyeliner on, but I don't think I am because 
I think it'll block some of that yellow and I'm really digging the yellow. Like that. I mean, come on. Now, when I first started, you might not have thought it was going to look like this. <laughs> you might have been like, oh, Heather has lost it. So everything is fixable. It's, you almost have to like be okay with the process. Keep the process going. You can also change it in the middle, right? Like I just did. I was like, okay, too shimmery. Let's dial that bad boy back. And then we adjusted the shimmer. It's pretty. It was pretty, but it was too much of my shimmer work in it, right? So I'm going in, straightening some of the bottom lashes. And then there we go. That yellow is beautiful. I like my Ukraine eyes. Um, I do already have a little bit of the um well, let's see if I can of my dusty rose that I always use. And I think I'm because of the shimmer. Um, actually, let's do this. I have a dusty rose on. Oh, let's do a little bit of this. This is stark. And I'm just flying right over. Okay. And that's, that is what I'm going to leave it. Cause I'm going to leave this, um, matte. I don't, I don't want any more shimmer because I do have the exposure highlighter now to that point. Yeah. I told you, you can powder with that, but let's say you get this on. You're like, Oh, I feel like I'm too shimmery. You can still take a translucent powder or a regular powder and powder over to dial that down just a little bit as well. So again, everything is fixable. So we talked about how to clean the tips of your airbrush. If the airbrush isn't coming out, wiggle, wiggle, wiggle that tip off, soak it in warm water, and then you can pop it back on. Save your empty bottles because you can transfer the lid to another one. Mascara, you want to change every three months three months. If you're on our replenishment program, put the mascara on there. You can get it shipped every three months for any palettes. If you need to, you can open this up, spray, and I'm not talking close, spray sh sh mist, some alcohol and wipe those down. And that will help. Um, our lip liners, you can wrap, you can uh, kind of rub them with a tissue if you need to clean those lip, uh, lip liners, lipsticks, all um, lipsticks you can actually are, uh, where are they? Where are they? Where are they? The Cream Confessions lipstick. If you, if somebody <laughs> uses yours and you're like, I didn't think you can use it. Open them up as far as you can and you can dip them in alcohol, wipe them with a uh, tissue and they're clean. You're good to go with that. Don't let other people use your lips either. A um, lot of different ways. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else. Your system. At the very end, you definitely want to clean this with water. Water is all it takes. However, if you have Tip Top, you can use Tip Top every two to three days. I, I actually go in and I'll back bubble it. Get that out. And I do that. I keep back bubbling till I'm down to the very end down to the very end and then just keep back bubbling back bubbling and clean that out you can do that a few times you have to clean your stylus you have to clean your breathe after every use if it if you don't makeup's going to get stuck in there and it's not going to work so you definitely want to keep that going so all right guys this went long we went long there's a lot of cleaning issues so <laughs> there you go hey Letitia, how are you all right guys have a wonderful Tuesday. And I'll see you next time. Bye for now, guys.